This is the modified and upgraded Acer Aspire AX1420-ES20P small form factor desktop PC. This has Windows 10 Pro 64-bit installed. On the front I.O. we have 2x USB 2.0, SD card reader, microphone and headphone jack. We have the optical drive as demonstrated here. This has a AMD Athlon 2X3450 triple core CPU at 3.2GHz. Uh, Radeon HD 5450 1GB DDR3 graphics card with HDMI, DVI and VGA display options. We have another view of the external fan I installed. Uh, stereo and microphone in uh, RJ45 Ethernet port, 4x USB 2.0, another VGA port, and old style PS2 mouse and keyboard ports. This also has 8GB of DDR3 1333MHz RAM, a 256GB SK Hynix 2.5 inch solid state drive, and overall we have a decent machine for 2021. Here we demonstrate the fast boot. And while we wait, I should mention that the external fan was installed because there was no cooling option for this PC besides the CPU fan and heatsink and it actually works quite well. I used a SATA to LP4 power cable adapter plus a SATA Y splitter for power, all reasonably powered by the 220 watt light on stock power supply unit. As we see here it boots up reasonably fast and you're straight to work doing whatever it is you want to do. Here we can see easily handles dual display and multitasking with LibreOffice. It also would handle Office 2016, 2019, or 365 with ease. You can utilize the optical drive to watch DVDs, burn DVDs, burn CDs, listen to CDs, uh, load software, etc. Or maybe you can just watch a movie while you further multitask in LibreOffice. You can also play games and watch YouTube videos or DVDs on the side. Here we have Poyo Poyo Tetris, which runs reasonably well. And next up we have Left 4 Dead 2. I should note that the addition of the external fan should allow for hours of gameplay and multitasking without risk of overheating. Here we have a slightly lighter option of Star Wars Dark Forces. Overall, I hope this video helps you make an informed choice as to what PC works for you in 2021 and onward. Do you need the latest and greatest? Do you need to spend a lot of money? Or can you put something together on a shoestring budget like this PC? Um, overall, it works really well, and within reasonable expectations, this computer will work probably really well for the next few years and onward. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope you learned something, and have a nice day.